Everton drew nil-nil at the London Stadium on Saturday against West Ham United. Uh, Sean Dyche was asked after the game what his thoughts were on the Toffees' performance. This is what the manager had to say. Well, it's a good point. Um, good clean sheet. Um, tough decision, oh. tough call, really, with Keno coming out because I think he's done well. But Jared going in and that kind of back five unit last season, as you well know, kept a lot of clean sheets and they've done again today. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, I think a solid performance, you know, that, uh, you know, that we, we, we obviously couldn't really find that, that bit of edge in the uh, attacking third and that you know, bit of devil that sometimes is a difference and that bit of quality, of course, but a, a solid feel to the performance and didn't really give much up away from home, of course, in the Premier League, which is difficult. Fair share of using the ball and possession and, and you know, in the end, we come away Slightly, slightly, you know, wondering, you know, is that one that we could have won? But equally, on the other hand, Jordan makes a fine save. You know, I think, I, I don't think he's had much to do this afternoon, apart from staying focused, which is an important thing, by the way, which I said to him after. But it's a fine save to make sure that we, we keep that clean sheet and get a point. There you go. Well, I think we were all wondering, Sean, whether we could have won the game. Um, but there you go. There you go. Another point. Uh, there was a clean sheet at the weekend, which was good. And that was uh, helped, I think, with the return of Jared Branthwaite, who came back into the start in the 11. He'd been sub for the last couple of games. Uh, he's obviously Evan's best defender, hence why there's lots of rumours, including ones this week that Real Madrid are going to make a bid for him in January. Uh, but he was back in the Everton starting lineup. Like I said, the team kept a clean sheet. The manager was asked whether Branthwaite helped. Uh, making sure that the defence did look a lot more solid and get that clean sheet he wanted. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get sharper, obviously. You know, a couple of rusty moments when he, you know, give the ball away and missed a tackle and things. But that's, you know, that's because he's lack of game time. But no, we know what a very good player is. And I did say, that, you know, it's trying to find the, the right time when he's really ready. I think he'll get more game ready. Um, but I think that's certainly a start of the process or a restart of the process. Well, they, well they, they, they quite obviously made a, a good partnership last season and, and you know, with, with Jordan behind them and the, and the two full-backs, like I say, not always, but a lot, them two full-backs played together last season um, with that back five. So, yeah, I was pleased with that side of things, but I thought the work in front of them was impressive. I thought um, uh, Indrissa was, was very good again today. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that fans don't always see, not our fans, I mean, generally, you know, the ugly side of the game when he covers the hard yards and presses and nicks it and keeps the ball. And, and Manga thought was good again, uh, worked very hard, you know, yet again, another one, you know, that real Premier League edge and fitness comes from playing. So, yeah, there's a lot of good signs, but, you know, that, that, that bit that we've spoken about, that length is that idea of that bit of devil, that bit of extra quality in the front third. And I think if we can add that in, which is not easy, of course, but that makes us more of a threat and therefore solid performances turn into winning performances. So that's the defensive side of it getting better. Good to see Branthwaite back in there. Obviously, Nathan Patterson getting fit as well. Get our first shot. Oh, sorry, get more options for the manager available. Then it's up to him who he chooses in there. But at the other end, Everton... One goal scored in the last three games. Sean Dyche was asked whether there was any news on Armando Breuer or Yusuf Chimiti. This is what the manager had to say. Yeah, they're not ready. They're, there's only they're not quite ready for that yet. So Brozier and uh, Yusuf being the main two. Um, Shea's got the hamstring, so we're going to have to settle that down. Um, no, the, the others we've got to be careful. The, the, the challenge we've got quite obviously is you know playing the games, then not getting them re-injured. So I think we're. <laughs> We're trying to come through that. We're looking at the stats of facts, as in their performance facts and stats and training facts and stats. So trying to judge the right time to get these players games, but certainly they're the main two. Papato coming back stronger as well, but they're the main two, uh, Yusef and Broju, who will need that games programme, but they're, they're building up to that now. There you go. Be good to have those two available for the manager as well. Uh, if we get them fit, then he's got four centre forwards to choose from. Breuer, of course, has had spells wide as well. But the more options you've got, the more uh, the more chance you've got to increase the goal score, and that is a bit of a problem right now for the Toffees. Uh, on the back of that, there's been a report coming out of France today that Everton are interested in Fluminese. He's Kawa Elias. Uh, he's an 18-year-old forward. He's uh, 38 appearances for Fluminese. Scored seven goals and got two assists. Uh, Lille are very interested in him as well. That's where the reports come from. Says that they face a battle with Everton. And Benfica are also interested in the young forward as well. Again, just to reiterate, this is coming out of France. Don't know if there's anything in it, but if it is, these are the type of deals that Everton need to be all over as well, looking at these young talents to try and get them in uh, before they cost you too much money. Get them in, develop them. 
develop them for your team and also with a uh, opportunity to sell them on in the future. That's how the football club is going to recover its economic position. Everton defender Jake O'Brien has been called up to the Ireland squad. He replaces Ireland captain and Everton captain Seamus Coleman, who was withdrawn with a hamstring injury. Coleman missed Everton's 0-0 draw at West Ham at the weekend after being called into the Ireland squad on, Friday, on Thursday morning, it was, wasn't it? Uh, O'Brien was omitted from the original squad, but has been called up now uh, to face games against Finland and England. Everton's under-21s play Cardiff City in the Premier League Cup on Friday night and squandered a two-goal lead to end the game in a 2-2 draw. Luke Butterfield and Charlie Whittaker have put Everton in a commanding position, a two-goal lead, but like the first team at times this season, the Toffees threw that two-goal cushion away and ended in a 2-2 draw. And Everton's under-18 side were in action on Saturday against Manchester United. Unfortunately, they were beaten 3-0 by uh, the Manchester club. They've won every game this season, United. Highly rated Chido Obi Martin, who's been banging the goals in since joining from Arsenal. He was amongst the scorers as a uh, Leighton Baines side. Was defeated. They lay sixth in the under-18 table. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you check out the final word. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.